Official Zebra Gamer Halloween merchandise available for a limited time. Check the link in the description. Hello Zebraherd and welcome back to Super Mario Odyssey. In the last episode, of course, we got ourselves a ton of power moods in Cascade ah, Kingdom. And today we're gonna move on to whatever is next. So let's get started. Okay, so let's deliver all of these moons, if I can. Can I just go in, oh, oh, I can go inside. Ooh, what is going on? Oh, look at that, the little mirror. Wait, is this where we can get new costumes? Mario Cap, a red hat that has seen its fair share of adventures. And then his other thing, oh, the Mario suit. This tied and, or this tried and true outfit has weathered many adventures. So that's all we have right now, but we are looking fantastic. Look at the bottom of our shoes, look at the top of our head. We're looking good to go. Um, I don't know if there's too much we can do around here. Ooh. Okay, so this is another travel guide. I mean, I don't really know why I need that there. If I can just press minus at any given point in time. So we can go inside the ship. That's fantastic. I don't know when we're gonna use that, but I don't care. We're just doing this. Oh, this is how we deliver the moons. So we have like eight moons. We're jumping from six to... 17, okay, we had 11 moons, holy cow. Um, Let's go. If we can, head off to another kingdom, set sail. Now, Cappy wanted us in the last episode to go to a different kingdom. I wanted to keep exploring Cascade Kingdom, but now I guess we're moving on to our next adventure, or we could go back. I don't know if there's too much more we can really find here, but we definitely have way more abilities than before, so we could adventure it, but I'm sure there'll be some story pieces here that we'll want to enjoy, so why don't we go to Sand Kingdom and find some stuff out here, just to explore a little bit. I'm not really sure what we want to do. I'm still figuring out, because this game obviously, oh boy, don't let that fall on your head, Marion. isn't very linear, oh boy. Oh, here we go, we're setting sound. Off to a new kingdom. Oh wow, that is cool. It's so bright and shiny. The whole game is bright and shiny, that's what I love about it. The Hatmobile has taken to the air, and, and here is its new home. Hold on to those safety rails, Marion. There's no seatbelts on this thing. Hello. <laughs> oh. oh, look at that, we got a little captain's hat. Do we get to keep that? I mean, I don't know, but <laughs> looking fantastic. Here we go. <laughs> Awesome, this is so exciting. So what is Sand Kingdom gonna be like? Is it gonna be like our average desert level? Or is this gonna be the one that was in all of the uh, trailers, like the reveal trailer, or at least some of the reveal gameplay? It looks like it's sort of going backwards, you know? I would imagine the other side is the front, but I guess not. It just sort of has that look to it. So, how do you like me as a Captain Hat, or Captain's Hat? Pretty classy, wouldn't you say? Huh? Yeah, I like it. Now then, where were we? That monster's name is Bowser? Well, we'll chase him down in no time in the Odyssey. Oh, so the ship is called the Odyssey. Seeing as how we've got some time to kill, let's review some useful skills. Travel tip, ground bound. Just smash blocks or enemies below you or to flatten out bumps in the ground. Nothing beats a ground pound. Flatten out bumps, hmm. Press zeal in midair to do a ground pound and pulverize with your posterior. Well, there it is. If you need some more review, you might want to take a look at the action guide. Okay, okay, action guide, there's action guide, that I know. You know, we can learn all about the controls here. I'm pretty familiar with them at this point. Um, Basic actions, look at all this. Ooh, you can pick things up, you can triple jump. I mean, I don't think there's too many things I'm missing out on. When it comes to the downward throw, like it's just about moving the Joy-Cons in a specific way, which I'm really not a big fan of. But anyways, uh, capture actions. Okay, yeah. Interesting, so we can learn more about the characters we've captured. I wonder if I can find any secrets by watching this. It doesn't look like it, but I tried. Uh, travel hints. Ooh. Assist mode, amiibo, amiibo 2, ranking, snapshot, view map. Okay, um, don't think there's really too much I can learn for right now. It's always here, or it's always there for your pursual. Just open the menu with, the, with plus and select the action guide. We should discuss the Sand Kingdom tune. As you've no doubt pieced together, it is entirely covered in sand, and as you can imagine, it's quite, it gets quite hot. Hmm, there are some ruins there, and an artifact called the Binding Band that links people forever, like a wedding ring, oh my. And this Bowser seems like 
And this Bowser seems like just the sort of creep that would steal a priceless antiquity for his sham wedding. All right, well, we gotta get to that before he does, that's for sure. We both got a lady to save. You got your sister, I got my princess. Sounds like a goal. Okay, the Sand Kingdom. Toast, Toast Arena, I think it says. It's sort of being covered by the clouds. Yeah, Toast Arena. Or maybe Toasterina. Atop the highest tower. So we gotta go way out there, oh my. So, oh, there's a moon. This place is beautiful, but also sort of kind of barren. Oh, it, it's chilly. Huzzah, I declare the maiden voyage of the Odyssey a complete success. But why is it so cold? I thought deserts were supposed to be hot. Huh? The top of the tower is shining. But how could that be? Could it be a power moon? Probably. Okay, so, interesting. I'm going to imagine that for whatever reason there's this ice caps here, and that's what's making it cold, of course. That's so weird. Let's go ahead and, oh, looks, we have our own purple currency here as well. Oh, oh, we're gonna get the hat store here. Those uh, coins are good only in this kingdom. I figured, I figured, so there's our first tune. Oh, this is so exciting. Hello there, little sombrero man, how you doing? Hi. This is so cold, everything just froze all of this is sudden. Oh no, that is a shame. Can I become the lizard? No, I can't. Uh, c come on, taxi, been waiting forever. And I can't capture these guys because they're already wearing a hat. Let me go ahead and get our flag fall. I love how they're green here instead of yellow. Maybe they change with each one. What does that say? Welcome to our sh shop, we got Crazy Cap. Oh, that's so exciting, but first, let's get up here. Ooh, hold on, whoop, yep. And then over here. Nice, oh yeah, we still have the captain cap on. I like that, that is really exciting as well. Is that we have different caps now, at least we have two. Awesome, let's hop down here and go inside. I am really curious about this. Um, oh, hi puppy, you are so adorable. You are to die for. Use this closet to change any time. Uh, in front of you guys, it's a little awkward. Oh, well, there's a moon back there. Huh. How I get back there, I'm not really sure. Hey, hey, hey. We accept two kinds of coins. Uh, coins and coins. You can use uh, money, I'm just gonna call them normal coins. You can use normal coins anywhere, but purple coins, only right here. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, so with money coins, it seems like, wow, okay, Sand Kingdom Power Moon, a power moon that was discovered in Toast Arena. Wait, is this something I could find normally, but I can also get this way? I'm not really sure, but maybe I should just buy it. Is this what you wanted? Sure. I'll buy that, got it. Thank you for your purchase. And then we, oh, oh. So there we go, yeah, you got a moon. Shopping in Toast Arena. So I guess it's the only way you could have gotten that one. Nice to know. Now when it comes to the hollow out, hollowed out uh, power moons in the top left, I'm going to assume that's how many we need to get to the next area. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, so we could get a life up heart. This heart shaped item raises your maximum life value up to six, I'm not really too interested. Whoa, okay, we got the employee cap, a crazy cap original. Is this what you wanted? Of course it is. Okay, and then maybe later. I don't wanna change anything just yet. You can change in the closet of there if you want. We got the employee uniform, show your crazy cap brand loyalty with this striking outfit. I love being dedicated to brands blindly. And then uh, one last one. For a thousand coins, can't quite get this. Boxer shorts, wait a minute. Comfortable breezy boxers in a vibrant mushroom-like pattern. If he has to buy boxers, does that mean he's not wearing any right now? Ew, unless he's more of a tidy whitey kind of guy. I can imagine Mario being that kind. All right then, so hey, hey, hey! We got the sombrero for five. How many do we have right now? We have 11. Oh, this is so cool, we got the poncho. So let's read all these. Sombrero, traditional to toasteria, toasterian, toasterian, I can't even. Tostarian and uh, no, no, <laughs> can't. Hat, keeps the sun out of your eyes and is just plain fun to wear. Traditional folk dress of the Tostarina region, keeps the sun off and the breezes on. The cowboy hat, a classic hat perfectly suited for wearing as you ride into sunsets. Old fashioned, or this is a cowboy outfit, old fashioned duds with a frontier feel, gun slinging and cow punching optional. Sand Kingdom sticker, a sticker inspired by the inverted pyramid. Inverted pyramid. 
Jaxi statue. In the Toastarina region, the Jaxi has lived in alongside the people since ancient times. The statue is made from the stones of the ruins. And then finally, inverted pyramid model, a famous location in the Toastarina ruins. Even the tiniest details are faithfully recreated, like the reliefs etched into the, onto the walls. Come again, yeah, we don't have a much much for any of that. I like to buy it bore all in one go. Okay, interesting. I know there's a moon back there. It looked like there was almost like a door on the left, so maybe there's like a door over somewhere. And I'm frozen to the corn. No one will buy our freezy treats now. I'll buy them. I guess you're not selling to me. I see how it is. What does this say? Um, travel tip, crouch. When you see something interesting out of reach and the ceiling is too, or is too low for you to get there normally, press the L to crouch. You can also walk that way. Ooh, I like this. Oh. <laughs> is that it? Oh no, there's more. Oh, there's definitely more. Um, hello. I'll grab that. Yay, hey, you got a moon, employees only. Not quite, but uh, <laughs> can I talk to you now that I'm back here? I mean, I'm probably just gonna be the same thing, right? Oh, yeah! Ooh, you scared the teeth out of me. Want a job? Use the front door, please. How about you? Oh, ooh, you scared the teeth out of me as well, okay. Interesting. <laughs> so we got our first moon in the area, and that one was just by sneaking around. So can I get out of here normally? Okay, yeah, it, it sort of skips some of it for me, which I appreciate. Um, oh my, whoa! Oh, hello you, you're the toucan. I hear the, the glimmer of another moon as well. What is the secret you are seeking? I know it, I know it, ha ha! I can't tell you, but I'll give you a clue. Herding sheep in the dunes. It's hiding somewhere, and no peeking, you'll find it, go find it, skaka! Okay, oh, it's right up here, look at this. Another easy peasy one. Okay, it would be if I could have some. I have, I'm having a really hard time doing the slide jump. I feel like it's harder with the uh, the Joy Cons than like a Nintendo 64 controller would be. You got a moon overlooking the desert town. Very cool. So let us plop into this pipe. And I gotta say, I'm having so much fun with this game. I really hope that you guys are enjoying my playthrough of it as well. Uh, oh, hello. Um, hi. There's a prize in this party room, but to find it, you'll have to feel it. Walk around, feel the rumble, let it move you to the prize. Oh, so there is a... I see. The, the, the controller is vibrating the closer I get to it. That's very interesting. Oh, hey, I found it! Hooray, is there more though? A rumble from the sandy floor. Is my controller vibrating anymore at all? It is not. Perfect, you let the feeling move you. I'm glad I could actually feel that. That's one of those, another one of those things where it's like, I think it's a cool idea, but it is sort of stinky that it's like mandatory. I don't know. I mean, I guess like, like for whatever reason, if you didn't have vibration or couldn't like feel it, I guess you could just butt stomp everywhere until you eventually find it, so it's not a big deal. You can open the map with the minus button, so easy and helpful. Uh, you can select the chat, yeah, I know. You've activated it and then press a to fly straight to it. So yeah, we've already done that, but as you can see, there's other things here. There's Talkatoon, there is the shop, and then there is slots. I don't know what slots are. Maybe these are slots in this room over here? Hello, Yoon, have I talked to Yoon? How oh, Kingdom froze when that strange couple got here, and why did they do this? Well, half the couple didn't have anything to do with it. Okay, so I just wanna be a little thorough if I can. Maybe get around here, just take a look at all these buildings. And of course, fly on this thing, because it's a lot of fun. Oh, I'm getting some purple coins for it too. Well worth the adventuring. A hundred, so we have twice as many to find here than we did in Cascade Kingdom. I do wanna remind people that I will be reading comments and you know taking whatever tips or suggestions on what to check out, but do know I will be also recording in bulk just so I can get ahead on videos. You ever get lost, You're, you, you head for the break glowy light, okay? Well done. Some, uh, could I climb up? Oh wait, could I? Hmm, not quite. Cause I've gone on power lines before. Whoa, what is the little rocket ship? I'm not sure. Anyways, let's go into this uh building right here. Cause it's the only really thing we haven't touched upon in this area and then we can move on. We can move forward. So what is this gonna be about? I'm excited. Dun, 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 dun. Play some slots at the Toast Arena game that's winning worldwide fame. It's 10 coins to play, what do you say? A power moon can be won, try it, it's fun. Sure thing, let's play. Yay, slots away. Okay, so um, use your hat your thro to throw it. So ding, 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 Yes, okay, there's one. So I guess I should have thrown it from the side. 
up. Yeah, okay, so when that heart is lowering. Oh, yeah, I got it. <laughs> that was awesome. Okay, so we got that. Yeah, Sand Kingdom slots. Anything else to win around here? Um, way to plane. It'll be 10 more coins. And we're out of power moons, okay? So wanna play, no thanks. That's fine, stop by again at some time, okay? Let's get out of here. <laughs> um, that was really fun, I like that. So, let's get out of here and talk to you, because we haven't talked to you too much yet, have we? So I wonder if there a way to unfreeze some of this stuff. I'd, I have to imagine so. I saw the craziest couple come racing past on their way to the ruins. I, I, I figure they're still out that way. I hope so, that'd be nice. Oh, there's a little sign. Look, Bowser's footprints. Oh, oh yes they were. So he was just charging around here. What was making everything so cold? Maybe his cold demeanor. Travel tip, long jump. When you wanna jump really far, or if you just wanna zoom even faster than you can by running, Run, crouch, and then jump. You'll do a long jump and sail ahead. Don't worry, I do it constantly, but is that faster than rolling? Rolling, 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 out my face. Um, hold on, hold on. Oh, the four for one, I like it. So are these the taxis they were talking about? I guess this is the statue, the, the Jaxi, right? Is it like a Jaguar plus, plus a taxi? Toast Arena ruins entrance, and already I can hear something up there. Not entirely sure how to get up there, but I definitely hear it, but wait a minute. Haha, <laughs> coins, cool. So any kind of bump in the road like that, we definitely want to take advantage. Hmm, I did see another couple over here for sure, so let's slam and jam. Just a coin there. What about like the bigger ones like this? Oh, no, it's, it's still only one. Now, I'm trying to yeah, do the little spinny one. That's really difficult for me to do. Um, oh, oh, come on, gotcha. So let's get across to here and, and check out this. Can I, uh, oh, whoa, 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 what's happening? Oh, that's really cool. So yes, there is a power moon up here. How in the world am I getting up here? Maybe I can fly at some point. There was the rocket way over there. I didn't really mean to stop, but there's so many different places to go. I think it would be good just to focus on the sparkly one first. But I got to do this. Anything we might run into that we definitely think we can do, I will try to do. But beyond that, I will try to, um, what's it gone? Oh, oh. No, 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 hold on, hold on. Oh. Yep, 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 there we go, cool. But I will try to, um, beyond that, you know, just try to get anything on our way and then just get to the sparkly thing. Not seeing too many purple coins recently. <gasps> oh boy, here we go, so we can accelerate, but can we raise higher in the air? Doesn't look like we can, which is a problem, because, wait, can I break this? I can't, hmm. Interesting, I'm, I'm trying to figure that out then. If there's any way we could maybe get up there, that'd be great. We've already found five moons in this area, that is insane. So I don't want that one, but maybe later. And, oh, you know what, if I was you right now, I could um, ow, fall into the goop, I don't like it. Whoa, we're sinking, jump, jump! I know, I know, I'm, I'm one step ahead of you. I've played a Mario game before. Quicksand is no stranger to Mario, and Mario is no stranger to quicksand. So if we could find maybe a bolt build that's being shot up from higher up, we can maybe fly over there. I don't know how far we can get with this thing, um, but we're gonna find out right now because I see this moon over here as well. And, ow. Um, and if we could set it up correctly, I just need to, whoa, it definitely has a bit of drag to it. I'm not just like, you know, playing awful. It's pretty uh, difficult to do. There we go. We got a moon on the leaning pillar. Now I'm sure that wasn't the only way to get this, but it definitely seems like the easiest way, leave me alone. They know it's me. That's the interesting thing. All right, up, oh, yeah, just barely made it. That was amazing. But there's more. We could sneak across that way, but is that really worthwhile? Aren't we gonna go around that way from here? Maybe, oh, wait, there you go. But there's also maybe some stuff hidden alongside here. Hmm, what is about that? Uh. Uh, where can I plant, where can we, oh, it's a nun. Hmm. A little nun, huh? Well, I don't really know what I wanna do with this just yet, so maybe I should put it back where I found it. And now I gotta go all the way around, don't I? Oh no, the mistakes I've made. There's the stuff everywhere, though. It's insane, like I don't know where to go first, but I wanna try my best for everything. 
Like, I just love it because it's just raw exploration. And it's interesting exploration as well. It's not like just run for seven miles this way, just hope that, you know, you don't get bored on the, on the way there. And, like, there's stuff to do, and that's fantastic. So what happens if I do and then go across to here? Is this something I want to be doing? I mean, I could be doing it. Do I want to be? That's a whole nother question. Oh, gosh. Um... I guess it just is sort of like an alternative way to get across to here. It doesn't seem to be really right or wrong. I mean, I can get this checkpoint now, which I probably should have gotten originally because I could have just teleported back up here, you know? But I'm silly like that. Or is the sign sign? Travel tip, ground pound. Yep, we already learned about ground pound. Yep, yep, yep. Um, There's an interesting little road sign. I like how the road sign is like a normal kind of road sign. Can I maybe? Not quite, okay. I do see some invisible coins up here, though. Oh, oh boy, I don't like it. <laughs> it's really tough. I am not running into many purple coins, though. that's sort of concerning me. But I'm going to imagine that's just because of how huge this area is, oh gosh. Speaking of purple coins, those are blue coins. And less than my eyes are messing with me. Um, okay. Hmm, well, let's go through here. And try to figure this out. I'm a little, you know, nervous about these bullet bills, these bills of bullets. Ow, oh, I messed it up. At least we don't like turn into small Mario. There's no small Mario in this game. It would be cool if like maybe they made like a, like an extra little mini game where it's like just like a normal Mario adventure, just like this sound. Oh gosh, I'm on my last bit of health. I gotta be careful. Let's go ahead and be Yoon. So maybe I could bust. Oh, oh wow, that only lasts for one crate. Those guys are not as strong as they seem. Oh. Oh, okay. So right here, this is atop the highest tower. Look, there's the inverted pyramid. Okay. There's a ton of stuff around here. Hmm. Well, this is everything we've adventured thus far. And yep, there's a little, there's just so much. So much to take in and enjoy. Oh, there's another moon. That doesn't seem too bad. Atop the highest tower. Okay. Uh, break this. What does this have? Health, maybe? Oh, that's a moon! Okay, easy enough, where are you going? Over there, really? All right, well then I will become a bill of bullets. There you go. Oh, there's a little lever over there, or something. Oh, ooh, we broke the ice. I mean, we kind of seems like all the smaller bits of ice we can already break, but. All right, we get another moon. We got from a crate in the ruins. Then maybe I could bust them. Ooh, that gives me my health back. There you go, I butt slammed. So a couple things I wanna do here, right? At least one thing I wanna do is jump on you. And then land here, right? Yep, yep, yep. Ah, so, what did I accomplish too much? A bit of a shortcut. But now I can just teleport back here and not have a hard time going over then. It's weird that we have sort of a loading screen even just for like a couple spaces over. But that's fine, I'll live. Okay, so, Let's, um, oh, uh, no, never mind. I thought I saw something. I did not. Oh, come on. Mario, did you really just do that to me? Oh, <laughs> okay. Never mind. Thanks, Mario. We got another moon. Alcove in the ruins. <laughs> I can't believe that. That was just such a happy little accident there. Okay, well, luckily, once again, it's not that big of a deal just to get up here. And man, even making mistakes ends up getting you collectibles in this game. I think I'm just gonna end up being a bullet bill here. I mean, I could just re-break this crate for fun. And it does, okay, yeah, it just brings it to you. I'm not gonna get that again. That's just not worth my time. Um, but I can wait for you to shoot a bullet, that bullet, bullet bill. Now wait, I, I can waste it entirely. What is wrong with me? Um, come on, come on. You know what, I'm gonna do this the difficult one. And that's when you give me a bullet bill, huh? Fine, you know what? Man, I'm better than you. I don't even need you. I mean, that's a little rude to say, I'll be honest. I guess, I guess we'll take it. But we didn't need you. It was just because you were attacking me. So what is up here? I mean, I don't know if it'll just be the moon, if we're gonna find some other, you know, maybe a boss fight, some collectibles, something. What is that, ooh. Okay, good for me for looking. Oh, so if we went this way, we could have found some extra stuff, maybe? Or at least a shortcut once again. You know, we could have just skipped a huge chunk of this if we just wanted to go this way. I mean, if we could have gotten up there, I think we could have. So yeah, definitely there's some plenty of shortcuts abound, so one thing that's really cool about that is it makes it very speedrunning friendly. 
and that's exciting. Like, I really want to see some crazy speed runs for this game, ow. Let me uh, butt slam this little bump in the road. Some health that I just really need. And I see that right there, you see some, there's some uh, more purple coins, but they're blue. I don't understand why they're blue, but they aren't. I just have to accept that. How can I get that? I'll be looking. Oh, oh, that hurt. Okay, that, that one didn't hurt as much. See, it's right here. What happens if I like, plop down here? Ooh, it's a secret. So there's three more worth the 24 out of 100. Oh boy, hold on. Oh, yeah, gotcha. Okay, that looks a bit odd. Um, Maybe I could hop off a bullet bill and end up up there like that? I don't wanna die. I mean, I've died a couple times before in the game, but I don't want to die. Oh, come on. That was malarkey. So if I were, like, oh my gosh, it's such a tough jump to make when I'm using the joystick. Oh. Oh, that doesn't work though. So maybe I'm not supposed to do it that way. Let's keep going this way and uh, see what we can figure out. Okay, this isn't fun. Oop, up, yep. <laughs> sort of miss old Mario, 3D Mario games where, um, oh yeah, that wasn't as much as I thought it was gonna be. Unless it is. It is, yeah, look at that. You got a moon, secret of the mural. Cool. So we got a couple on purple coins for that. Oh gosh. <laughs> We got our buppy, but hey, at least I got my health back. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh no. Come on, keep moving Mario, keep moving Mario, keep moving Mario, and we made it to the top. Awesome, Toast Arena Ruins Round Tower with another, yet another Power Moon waiting for us. Hooray! Atop the highest tower. Yay! So we've already made fantastic prog progress with uh, finding stuff, whoa. This looks difficult. Moon shards in the sand. Wow. Oh, look, it's a little, like, moon medallion. Interesting. Um, well, okay. Nothing too much else. I guess we should just keep going. I mean, I, I'm afraid we're missing stuff, but that, that might be a bit of an inevitability. So what are these things? They look like little bugs. Oh! It's like a little hat extender. I mean, I don't know if that's the best way to explain it, but, oh geez, okay, that was a mistake. <laughs> hey, these things are from Super Mario Galaxy. It's interesting seeing some things like return like that. So I do not want to hit this one, because if I do, I might not be able to do this very easily. Oh, wait, 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 no, I am supposed to hit it. It's gonna explode the blocks. Hold on, hold on, I'm not ready. Oh no! Was that a mistake? <laughs> I, I think it was, yeah. Um, <laughs> wah! Okay, um, down 10 coins it seems. I think that we'll probably end up losing more coins the more we die, or maybe in more difficult areas it ends up being that way. But uh, everything's back, so that's pretty nice. Get all that. Oh wait, get all that. So I definitely want to actually explode this stuff. I just need to be good at jumping, which I'm, I'm, I'm decent enough. So wait right here, and then throw your hat. Oh, throw your hat. Throw your hat. Oh, that was almost too late. So that's gonna start moving a different platform, which is fantastic, because now I can get a couple of those, and then I can maybe long jump to here so that I don't miss out on too much. There you go. I don't think I, I missed out on anything there. That's good. Oh, geez. Oh, it's activating all the other ones. Oh, that is both interesting and also really scary, because they're gonna keep repeating each other over and over now. Ooh, that's a bit of a challenge, I gotta be careful. Yep. Okay, we're fine. Can I also set it off myself? Oh, I don't know if that was me or not, but uh, you know, it doesn't matter. And quickly, get that. All right, we did it. Ooh. Ooh. And we get another checkpoint, so we never have to do that again. Fantastic. Moai Habitat. Hello. Oh. Oh. It's a piece of a power moon. So it is just a power moon piece. Can I become you? Oh yeah, I think I know these things. Ha ha ha, you could turn on and put off the shades. They move so slow though. Hmm, peculiar, I love it. Oh, and there's more Bowser stomps over here. I'll have to follow those soon enough, but first let me get all these. This guy's scared of me. Oh, oh no, oh, oh okay. So they still exist even though, hmm, okay. So these things right here are sort of like checkpoints. Like if I go to them, well maybe not quite. 
Oh, you know what? If there, when a moon pops up there, once I obtain it, that's what, like, something happens there. What was that Bowser creep doing here? I'm not sure, but, uh, do we really wanna know? So there is something over here, and something, or these little Moai guys, <laughs> the Moai guys, uh, they don't jump, so as we can see, the birds, no. The birds, they have, like, that sixth sense. The zebras have it, too, but I can't let you know, because it's secret, it's a secret sixth sense. <laughs> but, um, yeah, they just sort of knew there was something, there was footsteps. Where was he headed? It looks like, honestly, he was just straight up lost. He has footsteps heading in every direction. Um, hello. Um, I don't know, if, can I become the cactus? Oh, come on, let me be the cactus. <laughs> hmm. So obviously there's some stuff up there as well, but how exactly am I getting there? Hmm. I don't know how to feel about this. Oh. What is that? This little pea switch. Not entirely sure what to do there. There's gonna be eventually a way to remove the ice, right? That Bowser sure was stomping around in a huff. Seems like it. Wait, is it? Oh, there's an elevator over there. Okay, that elevator is actually in plain view no matter what, so I'm just being a total dingus. So let's uh, whittle waddle over here to the coins. And then wait for our... <laughs> These guys are the best, I love them. These might be some of my favorite guys we've uh, transformed into. So we could go right across for some free coins, which I'll take. You know, free coins is fantastic. Just don't fall off. Oh boy. Um. So far this seems to be quite simple though. I just go across here and, and we find yet another moon piece. But I feel like I'm missing one more, yeah. Oh, it's right there, okay. Way oh, <laughs> these guys, they're strong as stone because they are stone, boom. So what is that gonna do? That's gonna combine to become one big moon and then we could go this way if we wanted to, which is quite the way to come. What about this other direction? Once again, I think this is maybe something we can't do. I mean, this is the direction we came from, correct? Seems like it, because we actually can't from this way. There seemed like there was a um, another like lever or something, a little switch in the ice there. So once again, we're gonna have to learn how to destroy the ice before we can do anything there. But in the meantime, moon piece. Fantastic. Woo -hoo. We got moon shards in the sand. Nice. We need five more and then we're actually ready to go to the next kingdom if we really wanted to. Mmm. I tried to take a sip of tea at a good time and ended up being something else. Showdown on the inverted pyramid. As somebody, ooh, you can see it's Princess Peach calling for help on their gigantic wedding airship. I don't like it. That is not good. All right, let's uh, get ourselves psyched up. Mario, do some squats, do some squats. Get those quads on fire. So we can get a better view of that way up here. Showdown on the inverted pyramid. But on the way there, could we run into anything else? Fantastic, ooh. That looks interesting, but I feel like that's maybe a little too far off the mark. If anything, I should go get that checkpoint. Let's go and get that checkpoint and then I'll keep going this way, so. Um, let's go like this, fix the camera a little bit maybe. The sand is much more red here. Sometimes he has like a little speed boost when he does this. I don't know if that's like a matter of timing, but I like it. It's like the belly roll from Hat in Time. I really like it. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Oh wow, look at that little inverted pyramid way out there as well. You can see that there's a moon up there. I wonder how I could get that one. I'm sure there's a way, but for right now we should follow the footsteps because it's fun and dramatic to do that. Um, hello. I, I sure hope they don't steal our precious artifact. Things are heating up in the inverted pyramid. They must be trying to steal our legendary binding band. Oh boy, that's not good. I mean, what does that do? Does that like legally contract them to be together forever? I don't like it. Travel tip, roll. Oh yeah, we, we already know this one, we're, we're masters at it. When you wanna move quickly, just zip down a hill, or just zip down a hill, crouch down and press Y and you'll be able to roll. All right, whee! Oh, when we shake the, the Joy-Con, that's what happens, okay. Hmm, hello. No, 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 my beautiful sheep! The three of them have escaped and now I'll never get them back! Oh, poor sheep. Oh, I see one right here, hello! Can I, oh, and I can't become you because you're wearing a hat. All right, where are you going? Where are you going? Well, I'll try to help out with this. Please don't fall into the pit. Please don't, ready? Skill shot! Oh, almost in there. We ready for the slam dunk? Probably not, because I can just chase you. Oh, you know what this reminds me of? 
the game I always ogle about in every single Let's Play, Jack and Daxter, where you got the, um, you got the herd, the yaks, the yak count, not even the yaks, into their uh, pen. This is actually a little bit more in depth, I would say, because we can hit them around and it's like a bigger area to do it, but that's what it reminds me of, because I'm in, you know, obsessed with that game. Uh, what is, where, where is the last sheep? Hmm. Oh, there he is, I see him. Hello. I think you took a long term at Albuquerque, but uh, you can tell me. I've got a customer waiting, but from the looks of this mess, I'm not going anywhere anytime soon. Brrr. Oh, I can't become you, because you're wearing a hat. That's why everybody's wearing a hat in this game. <laughs> hey, look at that, easy peasy. We got a moon lost in the luggage. We just literally stole that from that dude then. Okay, so, uh, I mean, I guess it's for the greater good, right? Let's get you over here. I do want to switch back to Mario's normal cap soon enough. This cap is cool, but I also like this basic Mario. I mean, I want to try out some of the other costumes as well. I don't know if I should do like a costume in episode. I feel like that's pretty fun. Unless like I need a costume for something specific. Like, oh, oh, I'm so sorry. No, 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 stop it, stop it. Don't, be careful, be careful. Look at them, he's a little daredevil. Get that one. So you gotta be careful with the cacti, because they're, they're prickly. And got him. Hooray, all three sheep are here. Awesome, thank you, you're welcome. Thank you, herding the sheep in the dunes. I think that was the one, yeah, that was the one that little squawk parrot was all like, you should do this one. I did it. Oh, look at this. Whoa, there's a triple moon in this. Whoa, ow. Ooh, that was a headache. A multi-moon that we can't get to. You're telling me. Oh, we can knock the, the luggage around too. <laughs> There's a little bus thing here. Oh, can I sit down? I can't. Hmm. Hello, sir. How are you? That's the biggest tourist attraction in Toasterina, the inverted pyramid. We keep a famous artifact in there, a treasure that binds two people together, even if they're worlds upside down. We call it the binding band. Pretty fitting name, right? but will bind two people even against their will, or at least one of their wills? Because that's a pretty awful band, if you ask me. Hello. I saw a weird couple go into the pyramid. I think they're going to see our celebrated binding band. I ain't gonna wanna have to get in there quick. Oh boy, it is creepy in here too. We just go into the ominous entrance. Inside the inverted pyramid. Look at this place, okay. I like it, but I don't at the same time. It's too creepy. And of course, I find it funny that you always find desert areas in Mario games as like the second or third world. Usually the second world. I mean, here was sort of the second world. The first world was just sort of like a bit of a tutorial, so does it really count as the first world? I don't think so. Oh, ow, that hurt. But I wanna be as careful as I can because, you know, going back into a place like this won't be fun if we have to, you know, come back for collectibles. We may just have to do that. Okay, uh, let's check this out. Boop, boop, boop. Wait. Yep. And then let's go inside of here and maybe we'll be able to do well. I'm not sure. Oh, look at this! Super Mario Galaxy throwback, huh? I think. Um, you bet. Super Mario Galaxy throwback. Look at this. I like that. It's very interesting. Now, like I said, they had the same thing in Super Mario Galaxy where it's like, of course, if you are in this inverted little area. Now, if I fall through here, am I going to die? I mean, I can only assume, right? Uh, should I try to find out the hard way? Um, sure. Yep. Okay, well, I'd rather find out lose like what? 10 coins instead of having to do all that and then find out, oh gosh, there was a, there was a moon down there. It was, you know, that would be stinky too. So I think we made the good choice. I love how he has a little light too. It does help guide him a little bit. Perfect. See, I think we just got the 10 coins back right away. That's probably why they're there. Okay, well, on our way back up there. Move it, move it, move it. Yeah, we made it, we made it, no problem. Okay, so I didn't miss anything, it looks like. You know, some of these are a little tricky. You wanna make sure you go into every corner you can. But I don't think I missed anything. I mean, maybe I could end up finding something here, not quite. Upside down Goombas are hard to focus on, I can tell you that much. Oh, this is so weird. It's just still inverted. Oh, oh, oh come on, that was tricky. How was it, how was it supposed to see that? Oh gosh, oh gosh, they're spitting out Goombas. Um, oh, oh yeah, I saw that a mile away. 
Come on. Ooh. Whenever you see an indent like that, that is very clear what it is. It is a moon. Hooray! You get a moon. Secret of the inverted mural. I guess that's what they're called. These little um, platforming sections, these little 2D sections are murals, which is very cool. So let us uh, go up here. Oh geez, we got more platforming to do, don't we? Okay, so I see what's happening here is that the, I guess the bolt bills are going in the real life out of, outside of the mural. So what is, ooh, what is up here? Ooh, what is up here? Look what I found. Secret secrets. Awesome. Oh, look at us. That is so cool. Oh, but if we become one of the bullet pills, we can just smash on into that. Cool. Now, I'm not quite done with you, Bullet Bill. I want to adventure around this area a little bit just to get a good idea because I could go right through that block or I could have just simply went around and look at this. I got a little friend chasing me around, huh? Huh? Oh, can you catch up? Oh, no, you're a little too slow, huh? Okay, ready? Boom. Oh, that just gave me some extra health, but I'll gladly take it. I think we're about to face a boss fight on the top of this inverted uh, pyramid stone. Worthwhile, but I see what we got to do now. We need to lure one of these bull pills over here because it seems like the timer does not start until we capture them. So we want to capture them in a good position. Be very careful that we don't run into one of these, but... Oh, oh, I got a little distracted, I gotta be honest. I was trying to see if there's anything down there. It didn't look like it. Got me really darn curious down. We already got these coins, so I don't have to worry about those, but wow, I gotta redo this part. Seriously? Okay, well, that helps. All right, follow me. Whoop! Up, 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 up. Wait, hold on, hold on, I need you to break this dude. Um, ah, dead. Yeah, okay, yeah. I was gonna think twice about it, but then I figured I shouldn't. I should go ahead and get it done. But yeah, I'm glad with the amount of progress we've made in today's episode. It's been really cool uh, seeing how many uh, moons we can get in just one episode. All right, I mean, I know that the moons are actually a little bit more frequent than I was even expecting. They're just everywhere. They're super common. They're more common than stars or shine sprites are in the Galaxy 64 and Sunshine games, you know? It's crazy. And I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. It's, it's just a thing, you know? Hmm. Yeah, but I could try to land on the, you know, moving platform. Oh, look at that combo. Oh, that was cool. That was fun. Um, weird, but fun. Can I slam on these now? It doesn't look like it. Um, this is to be all we can do there. That's fine. Oh, but we're at the top, are we? Oh, my. We are princess. We're coming to save you. First, I just gotta find some fun collectibles, though. I hope you can hear me. I know cell service isn't really great in this kingdom, so I haven't texted you yet. Um. Oh, oh, well, they're gone. Oh, it's you guys again? Oh, we defeated, oh, maybe, I thought that the one lady was here. And I, I don't know. Looking for the binding band, chumps? Too bad that the boss has it now. And you guys ain't invited to the wedding. Oh, boy. We got her to deal with. We dealed with the other lady. I, don't, I think that's why she's not on the ship anymore because we already destroyed her. Oh, she's bigger than she looks. <laughs> like everybody's bigger than Mario. He's a, a sort of a bit of a small guy. Now she has a really big heavy hat on. So it's not gonna be easy to knock it off. I'm gonna guess that we wanna hit these mines right back at her. Oh, that almost worked. But maybe it wasn't big enough? It acts as sort of a helmet, huh? Oh, 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 that's dizzying. Okay, now we can get you. Just jump right on you. Gotcha. Okay. Oh jeez, and it's like a UFO as well. Okay, she can do a little bit of everything. Oh no, ow, that hurt. Well, there goes my uh, no damage run. I think that, that ended a long time ago. Um, ow, that hurt too. Stop. <laughs> Poor Mario's looking a little more like Fire Mario right now, except without all the awesome abilities. Knock that back, no. Um, ready, oh, got you that time. Oh, and it was enough to knock off your hat. Wait, where you going? Where you going? You get back here, you get. Back it. <laughs> All right, there's two hits. One more to go. Oh boy, we almost have 800 coins. It'd be cool if we can get over a thousand. I mean, don't we need over? I think we need over a thousand for the boxer shorts. I gotta remember that. So let's hold on to as many coins as we can. Okay. So what are you gonna do now? You gonna throw another one of those at me? Ready? Oh, yeah, I got you that time. You gonna start running? So I gotta be quick with this. Yeah, we got you. Another brutal defeated. Pretty brutal. Yeah. Cool pun, Zebra. You're the best at punning. Except you're actually the worst. Give me those moons. <laughs> okay, so three more moons for us. The ultra super duper awesome moon is in our possession. I love their little dance. These two make quite the pairing. You got the multi-moon showdown on the inverted pyramid. Hooray! 
I love all the views we get in this game. Like, it's so cool how we can just look off the top of things and literally see the entire level. I mean, I can say it again, it reminds me of Jack and Daxter, it's the same thing. Okay! Wow. So there goes the pyramid. Um. Well, I sure hope we got everything on there, because if not, I'm in some bad news. I mean, I guess there's the flagpole on there, right? The hole in the desert. So we're basically going all the way back over there and we're going into the hole. What's in the hole? Do I really want to know? I guess we're going to find out. The, that brutal slowed us down a bit, but we're still racking up power moons. How odd, the inver inverted pyramid is floating? And it's gotten so much colder. Is this more of that Bowser's doing? I say, he does make trouble, doesn't he? You can say that again, but it's nighttime, which means it's gonna get even colder. And look at that glowing bird, though, that's adorable. So there's still some unanswered questions here. And oh gosh, what are you? It's a zombie. Ow, zombies, oh gosh. No, they're more like mummies. But you know what, mummy and zombies are sort of the same. What was that? Oh, did he shoot at one? Oh no, maybe that was Yoon? Hello? It's a Jaxi. So a Jaguar taxi. How you doing? I'm what you call a Jaxi. You want a ride? It'll be 30 coins, what are you saying? Not yet. I think that is something we'll save until next episode, just so you have something to watch next episode. Gotta ride along to get along, bud. Okay, I wanna to talk to some of the guys that seem like they have new information for us with their little exclamation points. This is, this is terrible, it's gotten so much cooker colder. And now that the inverted pyramid is floating in the air, freezing winds are blasting out of, out of the huge pit where it was. Oh gosh, that's why some of these guys are frozen. Cold got worse, but the shop's still open. I always gotta work through it. The desert isn't safe at night. Ride a jacksy if you need to leave town. I'll keep that in mind. Oh, look at this. Okay, there's some purple coins frozen in here as well. Oh, oh, this is where we put the nuts. Okay, so I know where one out of these are. So we can, um. oh, that's a tough throw, but we did it. So if I can find the other two, I know where one out of those two are. You can open the map, yep, yep, yep. What about you, what do you have to sign? Um. C -c crazy night. Wish I could see what's happening over at the pyramid, but it's d d dangerous out there. So what happens? Yeah, if I just go like this, will they be able to catch up to me? They do pop up rather quick. That's gonna be quite difficult if we wanna go ahead and get um that nut, but I am darn certain I wanna try. Okay. There's plenty more we can do here in Toast Arena Kingdom or Sand Kingdom, whatever it is. Oh, look at that, that's new. How am I getting that? Uh, probably not by the way I just did it, so I probably should've thought about that a little bit more. Okay, let's jump over this quicksand. Is there still bullet bill action happening? You bet there is, so that may become the bullet bill. Fly on over this way. Ooh, boop! So was there stuff I could only get accomplished during the day that I no longer can get accomplished? Bullet bill breakthrough! We also have more than are needed um, to go ahead and get our ship to the next kingdom, which I'm not worrying about right now because obviously there's still plenty more we can accomplish here. And that's something I wanted to take a look at. One thing, I haven't gone through the brochure. Maybe I'll do this again at the beginning of the next episode because I don't know, I feel like people who will ask for it won't watch this far before they ask for it. So I'll do it at the beginning of the next episode. For right now, let's just take a look at our list. 69 to find, and we have found 16. Wow, that is a lot. That is definitely gonna take us more than one episode. But 16 to one episode, I mean, at that rate, about two or three more episodes in this kingdom, we got it. I mean, I'm sure some of them will be quicker than others, and it'll be a little bit more disproportionate that way. Okay, let me land on you guys. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Hey, <laughs> that's always fun. So yeah, what was, oh yeah, the, the nut. I gotta go get the nut. So let's go ahead. Um, I'll take you, just because. And I'm trying to look out, maybe, where could I find the other nut? Ooh. Ooh, were you here before? I'm not sure, but you're extra glowy now, so I definitely know there's a moon in there. There's definitely a moon up, hidden in that crate. That's not a hard thing to do. I don't know why I messed that up. Go like this. Yep, yep, yep. And then, got it. Yeah, look at me, getting now not 16, but 17 moons inside a block is a hard place. Inside a block is a hard place. Hmm, that's a weird way of describing it, but if that's the way you want to, I can't stop you. So I got this little um, golden nut. Now I can't do as much as I'd like with this. I gotta run back 
and be pretty much in danger. These guys don't move as quick as I do for sure, but it doesn't mean they don't move quick. So I just gotta dodge him, and <laughs> Mars is like, excuse me, pardon me, pardon me. Oh, look at us, our dodge and weave skills are pretty, pretty good right now. So where could the other one be? I'm gonna guess it's gonna be somewhere out in this region. Um, I guess the southern region. Or, no, this is east, so yeah, somewhere in the eastern region. I think that's, ooh, gonna be. But maybe I'm wrong. It'll take a lot of adventuring to find out. But that's what I love. Hmm, I'm definitely wary about all the purple coins we might have missed, especially these ones that I can't get right now. There's two, and it is saving in the bottom of I'm glad to know that. I haven't really been paying attention to that. I've been worrying the game's not saving. But it is, okay. I'm a little bit at a loss on what we should do first, because there's just so much stuff to do, you know? It's a little overwhelming. Now, we've been over here into this pipe, correct? Yeah, this is where we did the butt stomping thing. And then it was like the vibrating controller. I don't think there'll be anything new in there, but you never really know with this game. Hey, it's another one of these. Weird, I just gotta keep a mental note of where those are. And we found one in Cascade Kingdom and now one here in Sand Kingdom. Oh yeah, there's that up there, huh? Not too many uh dudes around here. Now I can go this way, but I can't do much about it unless I can really build up speed. Eh, now that didn't work. Okay, so if I have to do anything, I wanted to go way over here and check out this little temple, I guess you could call it. Maybe there's something worthwhile in here as well. You do have the uh, Jaxi corner, but Jaxi ain't here. Is there a way to call him? If I hit this, maybe he'll come on running on by. Just like look over here and just see him running over. That'd be hilarious. It would remind, remind me of, uh, what is that game? Hot Shots Golf? Whoa, 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 whoa. In Hot Shots Golf, you could shoot the go golf ball really far and sometimes like your little golfing guy would run after it and it would look funny. I don't know why I just I think about that. Um, you know, I think about where things are. Uh, let's uh, go inside. This hat door was open before. And now, I still don't know what activates these hat doors exactly, but I have to imagine that it's a matter of how many moons you have. Okay, so we wanna accelerate, but we gotta be very careful because that can happen. Yikes. Try to get three extra coins, I end up losing 10. That's what you gotta be careful of. What about on the other side of this though? Ooh, I haven't even paid any mind to this. Doesn't seem like there's anything, but you really gotta use the camera to your advantage to try to find whatever you want, whatever you can. All right, ready? Shoot another one. Do it! Yeah, okay. So, I guess I'll go through this way. I, you know, it's not the end of the world if I mess on some stuff over there. I could grab some of these. Oh, the tight turn! Oh gosh, you know what? Yeah, how about I uh, plop off of there and then wait for another one? Which way should I go? It looks like there's a platform over that one. It looks like this is the way I'm not supposed to go. Or at least, you know, I don't need to go. You know, and I, it seems to be overall correct. Hop out of that, pick up some more purple coins. We're almost halfway there with the purple coins, which is fantastic. Grab you, maybe. I don't know if that was a bit of a mistake or not, but I think what I'll do is I will drift. Oh gosh, the controls are just barely manageable. Get you. Oh, I like how you can sort of reposition right before you start moving! Oh gosh, we're going quick! Wow, there's plenty of places to go. I don't know which way is the correct way, but I do see the shimmer of a moon. Oh, oh no! Oh, come on, I lost my control right at the end. That was stinky. Okay, try this again, huh? Try this again. So I don't think I need to speed up to get anywhere. The only problem is that to move the camera correctly here, I have to move the camera in one direction and be moving the bullet bill in another. So let's go ahead and get that moon. And that is the bullet bill maze side path. Okay, so that's exactly what I wanted, the side path. Okay, go this way and then drift it. Ooh, good drift, good drift. Better drift, best drift. I mean, that wasn't really even a drift, that was just a basic turn, but it feels like it every time you move in this game, or not in this game, but as a bullet bill, you're drifting. So I definitely wanna, oh gosh, be careful. And it looks like, yeah, I'm good to cycle all the way around. Oh gosh, I don't wanna move too quick then. Definitely do not wanna move too quick. Whoop, yeah. And there we go, we got it. I don't think we missed anything there. So we got another moon, the Bull Bill Maze Breakthrough. So how many moons do we have right now? Have we gotten since we've last checked out the Odyssey? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 20, 21. And if we go like this and go to our list, 
It says we've gotten 19 out of 69, so I don't know where those extra ones are coming from. I mean, maybe we had two left over. Maybe I'm miscounting. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, or 10. 10, okay. I really need to figure out how to break ISO so I can do something about this, because looks to me now, if I ever want to get back up here, I'm gonna have to re-get up there normally. All right, Carmel, everything we just did, we'll have to do again to get to the Scarecrow, because I don't know how to break the ice. So maybe I should be focusing on that. Become a Salamander! Oh, darn it. I want to become a Salamander. There's like a tiny little Salamander. That'd be so fun. Okay, well, let's, to finish today's episode off, we will try to get across to here and, and do this. Oh boy. I mean, maybe this will be a little much to do in today's episode. Can you guys stop it? Thank you. Thank you. Oh, there we go. And just keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Ah, that hurt, that really hurt. Maybe we're in a bit of a danger. Can I talk to you now? Will you say anything different? Uh, my poor taxi dad, I'll ever, it'll run, ever run again after this. I might be able to help you at some point or another. So let's run off to Yoon and just hop right in probably. Hello, oh. hello. Welcome to Toast Arena, here to see the sights? You know about the action guide, right? I know already. What a relief. Wouldn't be able to let you sit here. If you didn't know anything about the action guide, I'd have to give you a full explanation. Oh, oh no. I'm a little scared now. Whoa, look at this place. Underground temple. I'm a little nervous because I am low on health. Now, where does this pipe bring me? I gotta just know out of just pure curiosity. Probably just back outside of it. Yep, yep, yep. What are you guys freaking out about? Um. I think there's something down there, but I'm not brave enough to jump in. Don't worry, Mario is. C -c can't take much more of this c -c cold. Okay, so interesting. Looks like we should just go through and do it. You know, we should just be a champ. Ooh, we already did it once, we're doing it again. Okay, well, I like it. It's very cool. Um, We're still only at one bit of health, so I just gotta be super duper careful. But also, oh, oh gosh. Catch! Yeah, okay, well, that was not a mistake. That's what I had to do to get across to here. And I did see a Goomba, yep, charging around here. Oh, I could capture that Goomba. I could become the Goomb, if it wasn't for the fact that I just destroyed him. Oh, that is exciting now, I really want to become a Goomba. I've been talking about that since the first episode. Whoop. I only need two more coins, and I have 50 of them. So it's good that we, you know, adventure down here. Get some extra coins for it. Oh, hello, Goomba. Yes, look at us. Oh wow, he has way better traction on the ice. Hey, these feet don't slip on the ice. Yeah, that's what I just said. Oh, and he jumps too. Look at Goomba go. Look at Goomba go. Cool. Well, it was fun being you, Mr. Goomba, but I have to um have some other focuses for now. Let me throw my hat this way and then turn. Wow, look at it go, look at it go, look at it go, look at it go. Boom. And that's gonna hit another one way over there, but it's gonna destroy all those Goombas. I sort of feel bad for that. Um, but at the same time, oh, I can become the Goomba Tower. Whoop. Oh no, I could have done so much more here. Oh no, oh no. Can I, I should restart, shouldn't I? Okay, Wee! <laughs> I feel awful, but at the same time, they're bad guys, you know? It's what, it's what I do is take care of the bad guys. And I think they're all back, which is good. So you can even throw your hat straight up into the air. It's just, I'm definitely not used to it. It's definitely still difficult for me to control the cap in that way. Luckily, it's definitely not mandatory. So I can become the Goomba here. This will traverse is a little bit quicker maybe. So it really, if I don't wanna challenge myself here and just do not hit those. Instead, just get over here and yep, up, 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 Okay, um, no, 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 they don't like me, I forgot. Um, up, up, oh, that was scary. So if I get back up here, and, oh, look at that, I added one to the chain. Maybe a little too much. Oh, not quite. <laughs> okay, cool. So I need that little Goomba guy back there, don't I? That's the answer to my question. I think, I need to get him, come back, oh, man, I gotta get both of those guys. There's one down here, right? Or was that, no, that was the guy we weren't. So if I go back over here and yep, up, 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 <laughs> we can get back over there, add them to the chain, and maybe that'll be enough. Just maybe. Hey guys, how you doing? Can I join you? Ow, that hurt. Okay, not how I'm supposed to do that. I did it in the wrong order. Um, no. 
Yep. Get you. There you go. Is that enough? It still isn't enough. Where's this extra Goomba? I don't know. Up there. How do I get up there? How in the world? There has to be a way, right? Um. Oh, hey guys. Um. Oh. Um. No, no, no. No, no, no. Thank you. So I'm gonna plop these guys down here. So I actually didn't need these extra Goombas. I don't think. I think if I could have gotten. I'm a little in a bit of a dangerous spot here. I gotta be careful. Like I wanna hop out out of off of you guys so I can. Oh, do this. Yep. And then become you guys. Get over here. Do not fall off the edge. What? Why didn't that work? Why didn't that work? I don't understand. I thought it was supposed to work. That was confusing. So maybe I'm doing this a little bit wrong. Maybe I could just jump, jump. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, I'm gonna butt slam on these jerks. Watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. Oh. <laughs> I feel awful, but at the same time, that was very gratifying. Well, you know, karma. Oh gosh, they're chasing me. They're chasing me. They're chasing me. It's gonna be much easier to get up on these platforms down, I think. I can also run. Oh yeah, look at that, I got a little run. Okay, then that's awesome. Oh, oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Up, no, no! This is gonna be a bit of a challenge, but it's worth it for the purple coins. They do all match up. Okay, that's perfect. Okay. Got it, got it, got it. Yeah, look at me, look at me. Now, I'm not gonna leave this tower until I'm certain I no longer need it. So we're gonna little waddle over here. And I don't see anything else it could be possibly used for, but once again, you just never ever know. So I'm gonna hop on this. Oh, that doesn't quite work. Okay, see you guys. <laughs> you were helpful while you lasted. Oh, they have little caps. Oh, they have little caps. Okay. Maybe I gotta lure him over here. Hit him once and then him another time. I like that, that's pretty cool. So you can't get them right away. So if I wanted to, I could speed up here. What's stopping me from going, say, over here? Well, from what I see, absolutely nothing. So we're gonna try that. We're gonna we're gonna do those other things, of course, but first I wanna try this out. Whoop, okay. Get up here. Wow, we look at all these coins. And then what's over there? A whole bunch of nothing. There's a treasure chest over here, then. How could I get over there? I mean, I could try doing a bit of this, but I just don't know if this is exactly the best idea. Yeah, not looking like it, but I, oh! Or maybe I'm wrong. Um, here, so, yep, wait. Yep, nope. Yep, nope, okay, hold on, Mario. And then, turn around. Perfect! Okay, so we got a treasure chest here. There's nothing on that side, then. Okay, oh, hey, look at that! It is a moon! Got it! It is the underground treasure chest. That one's a toughie. That one would've taken me a little while to find if it wasn't for the fact that it didn't take me a little while to find. Okay, so, um, let's get back across to here and try not to make any silly mistakes, but come on, you know who I am. I'm gonna make a silly mistake. So how do I get back to a location where I can get another bullet build. Is that location existent? Or do I just have to jump off? Oh, here we go, oh, got it. So if I really want to, I gotta make it snappy if I wanna get across to here in one piece. Got it. Okay, I wanna go in there, but I'm also a bit hesitant on what else we might find around here. And to be honest, it doesn't look like much. So I think we're just gonna go for it, but I could regret that decision. Hmm, oh my. Deepest underground, that's the head that's sticking from underground. You know, it's sticking under the ground, you know. You know the one, the one that has the triple moon in it. Oh, is this a little coin slot? I don't know. Dispense your penny, please, the mo Moai head. It's not a Moai head, I mean, I don't think. Oh, is this another boss fight? Two for one boss fight episode? You guys better be happy. <laughs> I mean, or not, maybe I'm not entertaining. Okay. Let's go and figure this out, whoop! Hello? Whoa! Were those bullet bills? What were those? Um, oh, I can move the camera a little bit. Where, Ringo? Oh no! 
He's mad about the ring. You take ring? No, 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 that's a misunderstanding. Hey, excuse me, that's appropriation. You have any security camera evidence? I took it, no, I don't think so. I'm going to sue. Okay, well, oh, well, maybe he could smash it. That would be perfect. Ouch! Okay, you know what, we'll call it even. Just don't see me. Um, so can we get up there, maybe? Or maybe, oh, I can become the hand. Oh my, oh my, boom, what a punch in the face. That'll teach you. <laughs> stop hitting yourself, stop hitting yourself. Oh, he's not happy about it. Oh, that is so weird. This is like the most enjoyably odd boss fight yet. I mean, I know we've been facing weird bunny creatures, but this is pretty fun soon. Okay, um, not what I wanted. Can I take it when they're doing that? I don't know, I'm being bombarded by, uh, come on, ooh. Oh, that, that hurt him. No, 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 hold on. Uh, got it. So we only have one HP after this, I gotta be careful. Yeah! So obviously we wanna maneuver to the side where his hand is not, because he's always gonna be naturally shooting from his left if he only has a left hand. Okay. Oh, 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 oh! Oh no, <laughs> I just sort of realized that they're, they're not gonna slow down. Oh geez, okay, so at least I know everything there is to know to beat this dude up now. I definitely do. So, no problem this time. Yep, yep. All right, buddy, give me here. Ready? Yep, yep, yeah. Okay, we're doing good, we're doing good. Just charge on over here. Hope I didn't miss anything back there. Doesn't look like it. So, I can just, oh boy, I almost missed. That would have been awful. Whoa. Okay, you know, we can skip it though, we've seen it. Um, Let's move over here. Oh gosh. Yeah, just slam here. Oop. Ouch. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry about your poor hands, but at the same time, I'm not sorry at all. So move to the right, because that's where he's not gonna be as advantageous. He looks so scared. I sort of feel bad, because this is just all a big misunderstanding. But almost every non koopaling or I guess non bunny related boss fight in Mario games usually is some kind of misunderstanding. Usually it's not because the characters are inherently evil. Maybe they just misinterpret Mario and his intentions. Can I? I don't know if I can. I think it can only capture his hand when it's beaten up. So do that. Got it. Come on. Oh, he's holding it more in the center of his face this time. He's learning. He's a very adaptive. Nice, nice indeed. We haven't taken any damage this time. Look at how excited I am. Oh, look at this, we can do the spin jump. Never thought about doing this. Oh, come on, I've played Sunshine before. I should've thought about it. Thought I could maybe jump between them. I cannot. He is not looking happy. Like, he just doesn't like to be like a very happy kind of guy, you know? He's like naturally a little perturbed. Okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ow, okay, I just became a Mario hand sandwich. This is not good. We need the hands to... I'm the worst, we were doing fine and then I just ruined it. <laughs> when you get stuck on that ice cube though, it just, it gets tough. Okay, so I just hit him for the second time again. He isn't that hard for the first two faces at the least and I have one heart sitting out here, so I just need to dodge really obvious, easy to dodge shots like those. Just not be a dingus about it. You know, that's the number one tip for playing well at video games, just don't be a dingus, dude. Um, I get across to there. Whoa, okay, that one was very dingus-like of me, wasn't it? Ow, come on. I, that time I didn't have a chance. Okay, hold on, let me get this health. Perfect, okay, back to full, back to full. And then slam onto the ice or miss. One of those two things will surely happen. Um, uh, uh, no, come on, yes! Oh, I can't believe I still got hit there, then. Oh gosh, he, he's maneuvering, but not maneuvering enough. Sorry, buddy, but I win. Give me your moons. Oh, and he explodes, too. I, I sort of feel bad. Well, we got the moons. Where are they? They're here. Yay, okay, three more moons for us. What an episode, almost 30 moons gathered in one episode. I think that's what we call jam pack. I don't know about you though, you can let me know. And to finish it off with an ultra multi moon, the hole in the desert, that sounds pretty good to me. Pretty good to me. Okay, so we get to go back to the Odyssey, which is fantastic because uh, I'm a fan of Fantastic. Yeah! Okay, and it's back to being daytime, woo-hoo-hoo! -hoo. It's so hot now, but I do suppose that's what we were looking, or trying to accomplish. Now I hope there wasn't stuff I missed, like maybe, or maybe we could go back to those frozen over areas, right? If we keep up this pace, we'll catch that Bowser in no time. I sure hope so. Do we have enough power moons to reach the next kingdom? If you wanna check, put me on your globe. I'm sure we can. I'm sure we can, but we'll be doing that 
in the next episode of Super Mario Odyssey. If you watched this part of the video, make sure you comment Odyssey Zebra so now you've watched at the end and that you are a Zebratastic viewer. And check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.